What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care as we're pretty far into this whole Colossus endeavor, in fact so much so that Wander is a little bit more beaten up, his neck's a little bit worse, and that's mainly the worst bit you ever see, though there was a cutscene we saw earlier where he was by Mono and his fingers just sort of looked all wrinkly and old. Maybe he's aging extra fast, I don't know. But this next Colossi we've, whoa, this next Colossi we've got to face, number 11, is Quite a bit different to all the rest of the Colossi, even though it always seems like every, like, pretty much every Colossus is somehow unique. But this one genuinely is, and it genuinely stands out for its different structure, because next Colossi is Celosia. Celosia? I don't know. Basically, the thing that's different about this guy is what you would genuinely, genuinely would associate with a Colossus... The, like, the main thing about this, about Colossi in general, this guy doesn't have. I mean, sure, he's made of rock and stone and he's a monster, but... Well, you'll see when we get close to it. His Latin name is Ignis Excubitor, which... I don't know what it means, but from guessing, there's actually almost a bit of a pun and an understanding of how you beat him in the name. Obviously, you use Excalibur is what I'm referring to, because it's Excubitor, but no. What we actually, also actually, the thing that Mr. God Voice says, they actually um, also sort of allude to how you defeat him. Anyway, if you didn't know, by the way, Seleucia's over, Sel Seleucia's over here. It might be Seleucia. I don't know. But anyway, this guy also seems to link to that old Colossi we saw like half an hour ago. I mean, three days ago. Kuramori, you know, the lizard thing on the stadium, that guy. Mainly because it seems, and Kur the Kuramori one's a bit more, like, loose, but it seems that they both have the role of being some kind of guardian, in that they have the same music playing, which is called Liberated Guardian, when you fight them. This is also more apparent in Celosia, because the guy literally says a guardian set loose, so... This guy is some kind of guardian to a lake, I guess? I don't know. The lake is actually right about here. It's very easy to sort of remember where this place is, because it's just sort of... Actually, I was going to say it's easy to remember because it's in the middle of nowhere, but that would make it harder to remember. But it's just sort of right next to the bridge. There, pretty much. Also, the bridge looks like 2D little thin pieces of paper at this angle. Probably a graphical error, I don't know. But anyway... You'd think because it's a lake you could just jump into the water, and you could, but you probably shouldn't, even though I almost did there, because there isn't much of a lake. It seems to have all dried up. Where's the staircase? There's the area. Oh, there it is. Right here. It's a little zigzaggy staircase. No save shrine, unfortunately, because it's not far from the temple of whatever it's called. There is a name for it, and I did know it. I think I even said it earlier in, a, like, yesterday or something, but... Actually, will it tell me? No, it won't. Oh, well. You see it every time you save the game there, and that's pretty much the only time I save the game, so I should know. I think it's, like, the temple... The shrine of... Prayer. The shrine of forgiveness. Ah, I don't know. But anyway, we need to... Whoa! Well, okay. Gee, no, that's not how you climb downstairs, Wanda, but it's good enough. What we need to do is go to the one area that's here, other than this pathetic little lake. We need to go up to the little structurous cavern thing there. It reminds me of something, but I don't know what. I think it might be Super Mario Sunshine that it reminds me of, like Noki Bay or something. I don't know. I, is it faster to go underwater? I don't know. I'm going to do that. Oh, well, never mind. So, this little guy. I don't know why I called him little. I guess it's because we're down here and it makes me feel... Oh, it's probably... Probably because of that. That's a like, horrible excuse for a lake. Now this guy also gets quite mixed reviews by fans. Some people like him, some people hate him. I quite like him. He's quite a charming little guy. Again, I'm calling him a little guy. Really just sort of... I guess it just shows how powerful I've become. I've defeated ten of these massive colossi monsters and won. Surely, number 11 isn't going to be much of a hard challenge for me. <laughs> But anyway, this fight is also different in that you have to attack him in a different way, assuming it's a him. Meet Salosia, the guardian that was supposedly set loose. Right after I jump over this cliff. Oh. 
It's the Lion Colossi, although he seems a bit more like a bull because he charges you. Now a reason that a lot of people don't like him is when he hits you, you fall down for quite a while and sometimes it gets to the point where you can't even get up before he hits you again and then it's repetitive until you die. I can understand that, but generally it's not going to work. What? I don't know. I was think I was having a completely different conversation. You want to jump on these pillars because they're safe. You also notice he's completely covered in stone. You cannot grab him anywhere and you saw him glowing because you need to release the stone. How do you release the stone? Well, he seems to be just sort of flailing about. That's not what I wanted. Come over here. Attack me. This is what you do, right? No, you're glitching. You're not supposed to be doing that. Why are you just sort of flailing about? Okay. So what you need to do is make him charge at you. Thankfully he doesn't do a lot of damage. He really should. And I'd, actually I might be trapped because he's going to knock me down before I get up, right? Okay. Good, good, good. We want to hide in these... Maybe we've got to hide in the crevice. Oh, Jesus. Thankfully I'm in a safe spot here. What we want him to do really is... Uh, hopefully he'll do it now. We want him to hit these pillars is what we want him to do. Because you need to use your environment in pretty, every, pretty much every scenario. Please come for me. There we go. When he does, a little fire stick appears. This is very helpful because, whoa, I thought that looked like the end of the world, like some sort of cloudy sky or something. For once, you need to use a weapon that is not your sword or your bow. You need to use this stick and catch it on fire. Even though the Guardian said that like he keeps the flame alight, he's actually scared of this supposed flame. Because he's also the only Colossi to show fear. When you go near him, he gets a little scared. Oh no, it's actually kind of sad because it really feels like animal cruelty now. But oh well, you want to knock him off of the cliff with his own fear of fire. Let's do it. And now he's revealed for us to stab him. Now, apparently this guy's the size of an African elephant. I thought an African elephant was pretty big because, you know, they're elephants. But apparently African elephants aren't that big, even though they are bigger than humans. But now you know. There's also a lot of references to African elephants. Not African Americans. They're completely different species. They're humans. But um, African elephants are also referenced quite a bit in the Pokemon universe for some reason. But anyway, this guy, while we have knocked off his shell, we should have jumped onto it and he would have had the opportunity to attack him. This is new. I've never actually fought him in this arena before. I'm probably going to die because of it. But you okay, Ag uh, Wanda? Your head's like detached from your body or something. But You can knock him off the cliff multiple times, but it does not do additional damage and it doesn't do anything new. So you don't really need to. Instead, we just want to try and get lucky and grab onto his back. Please, you're not going to let me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, no, no, no. Well... Generally, I think he should... Oh, 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 here we go. Your little jumpy thing did not, not grab... Did not let me grab you. It really should have. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> okay, I'm too busy mashing buttons. I forgot I already stood up. And now I'm down again. Lovely. Now, this might be obvious, but the guy makes lion sounds. Fitting, because, you know, he's a lion. But really... I think that's all the trivial points I have to say, so let's just focus on killing him, please. Whoa. Okay. I believe, actually, he should eventually just sort of solemnly try and go back to his little arena. But maybe it's because I'm here, he's a bit annoyed. So let's try and lure him back, because if I get him back to the arena, at least I can jump off the pillar. Or I can jump off this hill. Perfect opportunity. Get here, you. Ouch. Oh, God. All right. How to lose a livner. Livner? A liver penetrated from the horn, just ripped out of my body. Don't! Jesus Christ! This is really intimidating. Don't look so sad and worried about yourself. You're winning the fight at this point, pretty much, even though your weakness is revealed. Can I get on this rock? I cannot. It's not designed to be part of the battle. Oh, you're gonna go down there? That's fine by me. I can grab hold of you! I cannot grab hold of you! <laughs> Hello! Goodbye! I'm gonna keep running. Whoa! Okay, I've... Jesus, this is... I'm having trouble with every colossi unless your name is Bassaran. Um... Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I thought I rolled out of that. Uh... 
This Colossi is also, along with Derg, one of the only ones to be able to jump, but it makes sense because he's probably pretty light and small. Well, he is small, but he's probably light as well, which makes sense, because he is small. Why don't you just go back to your arena? Why don't- I mean, sure, you're one of the most aggressive Colossi here. Where is the continuing entrance to this place? It's over here. You're in the way. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, I can feel you running. I can feel you right there. Uh, I think I've hit a glitch. Well, this seems like a good a time as any to... This looks like first person. This is first person Shadow of the Colossus. Huh. Well, what do I do now? I don't know. This is an awkward situation. Now he's just heaving uncontrollably. Look at him. Oh, this is awkward. I gotta admit, this game does have its fair share of glitches. You can make Wander accidentally disappear or fling him thousands of miles into the sky. But this is a... Well, at least he's testing out his vocal cords. I'm just going to heal. Just wait here with a piece of paper. Just sort of doing what I do. Any other trivial points while I'm here? Um, Ignis Excubitor. Yes, a guardian set free. He's a lion. You have to use a different weapon. He can run. He, that's actually a new thing. The first Colossus we've ever seen running. He can jump. You know, he's the only one to show fear. You know, adult African American. African American? No, adult African elephant. How do I miss that up? Yes, Liberated Guardian, same as usual. This also plays Despaired Field Farewell when you're on his back, but that's the same as Kuramori as well, so it all links to the fact that they're both Guardians. Now I'm trapped- Oh, actually, is this my way out? Is this my way out? It could be! I can get on his back now! I see the light, quite literally. Let's quite try and actually win this, shall we? Um, please stand still for a minute, though. I can't attack you if you're gonna just keep- now you're just like test- are you just exercising at this point? Why did you not run that time? Come on! Okay, jump on wall, be in safe place. Come around, jump! Yes, alright, here we go. Now that you're on his back, he's gonna try and actually get to the arena. We're gonna try and stop him. We do so much damage with all this stamina, we took him out in two hits. But generally, he'll be running around like crazy and flailing about, but now... We defeated the beast. Kaboom! And he crushed us against a rock, so really, Wanda lost that. But you know what? That's fine. I'm going to accept my fate. These black tendrils can't. <laughs> Small beast, <laughs>